Gravity Zone Cloud videos. Um, so let's just a quick recap on what we went over in parts one and two of the video series. In part one, we talked about you know getting logged into the portal and that the first step you probably want to do is set up your companies. By setting up your companies in the company section here, it allows you to have containers in the network section. So until we have those companies set up, we don't have our containers for each company in the network um, section, which is going to be very important when we start managing our computers because this is where the computers are going to show up. In part two, we went through packages. And so basically packages is where, you know, you can set up different installation packages in here. You can have different installation packages for each customer. Um, lots of customers have multiple installation packages with different options and whatnot. And so this is what we went through in part two. What we're going to go through here is we're going to go ahead and install our package on our computer. And you may remember at the end of uh, the video in part two, we talked about the relay and how we want to have at least one or two computers that have the relay package. So what we've done here is we've downloaded the relay package download from um, the portal, which we did by selecting the checkbox next to the package and then hitting download in the menu. I've gotten the uh, download, which is a zip file, and I've uncompressed the zip file. So this is what that uncompressed zip file looks like. And we're going to go ahead and run the, uh, the installation file here. And the install just takes a couple of minutes. The Bitdefender install is, uh, is actually pretty quick. And, um, you know, even with a relay package, I find most of the time these take, uh, you know, less than 10 minutes. In a lot of cases, less than five minutes. Okay, so our uh, installation just finished. Um, this is the uh, finish of the installation screen here. And you'll see that Windows is getting me a little message down here that it's... Uh, out of update, but it will update on its own in the background. You won't even need to initiate that. So once our installation is finished, we can go over back to the network section. And remember, this uh, installation package was for XYZ landscaping. And so when we drill down into the computers and users, gr uh, computers and groups here, what will happen is, is eventually uh, we're going to see the machine that we just installed here under computers and groups. So there's our, our machine named Chad. So you'll see that it gives us a little machine information here, operating system and IP address. And note the icon. So it's got this little blue computer screen. And if you look closely up in the upper right, there's a little back and forth black arrow here. And that's what designates that Chad's machine is a relay machine. Regular machines don't have this, uh, this black arrow. So now let's talk about uh, doing a network discovery. So the way that we do that is we select the checkbox next to Chad's machine and we hit tasks and network discovery is an option. So are you sure you wanna run network discovery? Yes. Okay, and you'll see up at the top, that there's now a task up here um, that has been created and it even gives you a link to go to the task section. We could also go to the task section directly over here on the left, but I'm going to go ahead and click the task link here. And here's my network discovery task and it's pending. Network discoveries, depending on the size of the network, can take a few minutes. So we're going to go ahead and give it a few minutes to finish. All right, so our task is running. I'm just hitting refresh up here to uh, refresh the uh, status. I'm going to go back to network here and see if we have machines showing up uh, in our network queue now. So if we drill back down here to XYZ Landscaping, the company where we're, our test company where we're working, we're going to go under computers and groups, and voila, look at that. I've got a whole list of machines here um, that are now available to us to manage. So now, Assuming I have credentials to these machines, I can actually push software out to them. So let's uh, talk about how this would work. So let's select the machine called Jeff, click on tasks, and look what I have. I have install as an option in the task menu. And let's uh, go ahead and push out machine or push out software to Jeff's machine. So this is the install client. Um, screen right here and you just kind of work from the top and work your way down 
obviously the top here uh, talks about when you want it to happen we're going to go ahead and say now and um, you don't have to do a reboot most of the time unless there's an uninstall task which we'll uh, talk about in just a second but this is something to take into consideration for credentials here um, you know a lot of times you're working on a domain account so I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, a domain account here to use for privileges. This is uh, an account that is got admin level capabilities to uninstall and install software. Down here at the bottom, um, we're going to talk about deployer. So this is our relay machine. So this is why we set up Chad's computer as a relay. So his computer could be the one that would pass the command to do installs over to the other machines on our network. Okay, so we're going to select Chad and then we're going to hit save. Oh, whoops, I forgot to select which package here, sorry. Let's go ahead and do, we're going to select our test package without relay on Jeff's machine. Okay, and that's uh, that will get pushed out over the network from the cloud, but Chad's machine is going to pass the instructions to Jeff's computer. Now you'll notice this little link here at the bottom that says the endpoint security by Bitdefender will automatically install other security software. And it actually gives you a little link to click here that gives you a whole list of security software that Bitdefender will uninstall for you. And it's quite a long list, actually. Um, it's actually very rare that we come across a piece of software that Bitdefender won't uninstall, which is great. Uh, one of the caveats is your software can't be password protected. So let's say you rolled out, you know, a vast business software on your network and they put a password on it, which is very common. You want to make sure and take that password off before you have Bitdefender attempt to uninstall it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit save here. And what's going to happen is that um, this task is going to send an install package over to Jeff's computer to install Bitdefender and Chad's computer is going to be the computer that passes that install task.